Hello, Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to 5 minute medical channel. Today we will learn chest x-ray. It is very much important for every medical student and for all doctors. So let's start. First of all, it is the normal chest x-ray, posterior anterior view and this is the lateral view chest x-ray and this is the chest x-ray anatomy and what are the structure we usually read in a chest x-ray first of all trachea is it centrally placed or not then the right uh, main stem bronchus aortic arch pulmonary artery uh, pulmonary artery then the left ventricle right ventricle diaphragm diaphragm liver and stomach these structures are usually seen in a chest x-ray and there is a mnemonic that is very interesting to read a chest x-ray so here the mnemonic first of all we read uh, airway then the bones then the cardiac shadow then the diaphragm E and F means equality of both lung fields and G for gastric bubble, H for hilum and mediastinum, I for invasive line or any impression, I for invasive line or any impression. There may be a CV line that can be read uh, in a chest x-ray. So where the ABCDEFG, uh, it's the chest x-ray anatomy that usually we read in a chest x-ray. Now the pathological conditions that can be detected by a chest x-ray. So uh, this chest abnormalities we can detect here yeah, by a chest x-ray. First, uh, medicinal and heart conditions, uh, lung conditions, airway, air space, interstitium, muscular disorders, and uh, lung neoplasm. Then we can detect some pleural condition, uh, some diaphragmatic abnormalities and some bony structure and soft tissue abnormalities that also can be detected in a chest x-ray so uh, serially we start from uh, pathological conditions first this is the cardiomegaly 50 percent or more that is called cardiomegaly so this is a normal uh, heart and this is the cardiothoracic diameter if the cardiac diameter is 50 percent or more that is called cardiomegaly uh, we know there are some pathological conditions in which card, uh, cardiomegaly may occur most commonly uh, in systemic hypertension or valvular disease or cardiomyopathy uh, where cardiomegaly may occur then uh, common condition pericardial effusion uh, it's a normal cardia and this is a pericardial effusion here heart size is enlarged so in a pericardial effusion uh, enlarged heart shadow that is globular in shape and approximately uh, 400 to 500 ml of fluid must be in the pericardium to lead a detectable change in the size of the heart shadow on chest detectable change in the size of the heart shadow on chest x-ray pericardial effusion can be definitely diagnosed with a echocardiography or ct scan this is the pneumomedistinum. It may be caused by CABG or coronary arterial bypass grafting surgery and during surgery air entered into the medistinum. This is the pneumomedistinum. So in pneumomedistinum, a streaky lucence is over the medistinum that extend into, uh, into the neck uh, in this condition. Then uh, separation of the uh, parietal pleura along with the medistinal border. There's two important findings usually found in pneumomedistinum then uh, lung abnormalities so air space pathology that is most important alveolar infiltrate alveolar space are filled with some material that may occur in pneumonia blood that may occur in pulmonary hemorrhage uh, fluid uh, occurs in pulmonary edema cells usually in cancer so not possible to differentiate in chest x-ray usually in all ways. So this is the air space abnormality. The, this findings is also called consolidation. So con in definition of consolidation is air space filled with bacteria or other microorganism and pus. 
it's usually not associated not associated with volume loss it's very very important and this consolidation may occur by bacteria viruses mycoplasma or fungus so in x-ray aerospace pathology or consolidation findings is uh, opacification lower consolidation interstitial opacity and may have an associated with and may have an associated with pleural effusion that may usually occur as a complication of consolidation now the another condition is atelectasis atelectasis is a collapse or incomplete expansion of the lung or a part of the lung it's most often usually in the into bronchial lesions such as mucus plaque or tumor it can also be caused by extensive compression by a mass or pleural effusion uh, atelectasis is associated with air so it is associated with volume loss this is atelectasis in atelectasis uh, lobe migrates superior medially towards the apex and mediastinum so elevation of the minor fissure and elevation of the uh, lower lobe arteries this is the important findings of atelectasis this is the vascular abnormal so this pulmonary congestion in chest x-ray findings usually we find cardiomegaly cephalization and haziness of the vascular margins this is very very important so it is one of the most common abnormalities evaluated by chest x-ray so it occurs when heart fails to maintain adequate forward flow so in uh, increase the cardiothoracic ratio it usually occurs in heart failure so uh, cardiac diameter is increased more than 50 percent and cephalization means upper zone veins become equal in size or larger than the lower zone veins here important findings is in pulmonary condition is curly v line it is usually found in pulmonary edema it's very very important there are three curly lines curly lines a curly line b and curly line c curly line b is very important for pulmonary edema so this is the curly lines in pulmonary edema very very important so pulmonary edema pulmonary congestion may progress to pulmonary edema with leakage of fluid into the interstitium alveoli and pleural space so cardiogenic pulmonary edema can show in chest x-ray increase the cardiac size curly lines peribronchial cuffing patchy shadowing with air bronchogram bad wing pattern we will see later and pleural effusion these are the findings usually found in chest x-ray of a patient of pulmonary edema uh, this is the bat wing pattern in both side it is the bat wing pattern in pulmonary edema now the interstitial pathology a reticular nodular pattern uh, this is the chest x-ray of interstitial patho pathology Rotic, uh, reticular and nodular pattern is found in the interstitial lung disease and very very important it's commonly associated with smoking so emphysema is a loss of elastic recoil tendency of the lung with destruction of the pulmonary capillary bed and alveolar septa it's usually most commonly occurred by cigarette smoking so in emphysema uh, most common findings on chest x-ray are diffuse hyperinflation of the lung flattening of the diaphragm we can see here and then increase the retroesternal uh, space and sometimes we found some bulla this is the lucent air containing space without the vessel is called bulla this bulla is also clinically important because uh, due to rupture of this bulla usually uh, pneumothorax occurs this is the neoplasm pulmonary neoplasm or bronchogenic carcinoma very very important this is a solid mass arising from the lung lung parenchyma and this is the lung metastasis lung metastasis also known as cannon ball so this is cannon and this is the balls here the cannon ball appearance in both lung field usually occurs in metastasis of lung here also many cannon balls usually uh, in kidney cancer and other uh, common cancer uh, some cancers may metastasize into the lung and findings looks like the cannonballs. Now the pleural abnormality is very very important. Pleural abnormalities usually we found in congestive heart failure infection such as peripheral pneumonic effusion, 
due to caused by pneumonia then traumatic pulmonary embolism uh, bronchogenic cancer or tumor autoimmune disease most commonly systemic lupus erythromatosus and chronic renal failure these are very very important in plural effusion uh, uh, 200 ml of fluid is needed for visualization of the plural effusion in frontal view and 75 ml of fluid is required to visualize in lateral view it's very very important then important uh, Plural condition is pneumothorax, air in uh, thoracic cavity but outside the lung, outside the lung but inside the pleural cavity is very very important. Plural, uh, pneumothorax is usually caused by iatrogenically due to surgery or trauma, it is very very important and it may be occur spontaneously, it may be occur uh, iatrogenically, spontaneous without obvious inciting incident, idiopathic, asthma, COPD pulmonary infection, neoplasm, Marfan syndrome, smoking, cocaine, these are the causes of spontaneous pneumothorax. And tension pneumothorax in this condition, air enters into the pleural cavity but during the expiration. It acts like a valve. So one way direction of air continuously enters into the pleural cavity and increases the air in the pleural cavity and it compresses the lung field. So, it's just x-ray, a tension pneumothorax appears as a air without the lung marking in the least dependent part of the chest and the air is found in the peripheral uh, to the white line of the pleura uh, in an upright film. And tension pneumothorax is best demonstrated in expiration film because in expiration film air enters into the pleural cavity and it is difficult to see when patient is supine position, it is also very very important. So, this is important, uh, this lucency is due to uh, entering the air and this is the plural uh, tension pneumothorax, very very important, right sided tension, tension pneumothorax with right sided lucency, very very important, leftward medicinal shifting. This is the hydro pneumothorax, it is occur uh, due, most commonly due to uh, trauma, air, air uh, water and the air both enters into the pleural cavity. This is the lateral view and this is the abnormal elevation of the diaphragm. This is the diaphragmatic condition. It is called uh, diaphragmatic eventration. Abnormal elevation, it may be uh, due to lung collapse or may be caused by the hepatomegaly. This abnormal elevation of the diaphragm, it is very very important. So, where is important findings is rib fracture, bone or soft tissue pathology, uh, uh, rib fracture may be found in a chest x-ray, here are the rib fractures, uh, 3 rib fractures, 4 rib fractures, rib fractures, 4 rib fractures is found in this uh, chest x-ray, this is very very important. Also other fracture may found in chest x-ray, this is the clavicle fracture, left sided clavicle fracture, it is also found in a chest x-ray, this is also important. It's the common disease in our country, tuberculosis. We know that tuberculosis usually occurs in right and upper uh, lung field. So, this is the right side and upper lung field. This is the cavitation. Cavitation is very, very important findings of tuberculosis. And this is the hilar lymphadenopathy. Hilar lymphadenopathy also found in tuberculosis. Also, patchy uh, consolidation. Consolidation is also important findings of tuberculosis. This is the miliary or disseminated tuberculosis findings. It's a typical chest extra findings in miliary TB. Stenosis, metal stenosis most commonly found due to complication of rheumatic heart uh, rheumatic fever. So in uh, metal stenosis, we uh, uh, on examination we found a mid-diastolic murmur. Also we uh, found a double right heart border in chest X-ray and elevation of the left main bronchus and spraying of the carina. Most important is the enlargement of the left atrial appendages. This is very important. These are the important findings of mitral stenosis as overall heart size is also increased. It is also very very important for mitral stenosis. Abnormal visceral perforation. Most common perforation occurs in the stomach or small intestine perforation. In this condition, 
uh, gas found under the diaphragm this is free gas under the diaphragm it's the important finding of chest x-ray uh, it also uh, should be done on erect posture this is also gas shadow under the diaphragm this is usually found in the perforation of the hollow viscous of the intestine uh, of abdominal uh, cavity so uh, sometimes we may miss some findings in the chest x-ray so we should uh, read a chest x-ray thoroughly and according to mnemonics so that uh, we uh, should not miss some findings sometimes we may miss the cervical rib it's very very important maybe unilateral or bilateral a small apical pneumothorax then as i go slow bulla maybe a small or large bulla rib notching curly lines uh, that is found in pulmonary edema absent uh, breast shadow in female due to uh, mastectomy that may be missed a small pleural effusion uh, fluid level behind the heart hiatal hernia or achalasia subdiaphragm subdiaphragmatic gas shadow subcutaneous emphysema the, uh, in the soft tissue of the chest wall and neck and thickened trabeculae of the ribs, clavicle, scapula, hereditary hemolytic uh, anemia in condition uh, in her hereditary hemolytic anemia, uh, thickened trabeculae may be found. So, this find, uh, findings may be missed in, during reading of chest x-ray. So, we should look carefully for a chest x-ray. Thank you so much. Uh, please subscribe this channel for more videos.